Hey guys, Stilted Images with Family Guy Long Figures here telling you that these fellas are really boring and do not deserve the attention that they can get. But since I'm borderline being a hypocrite, I will tell you that no one is free of criticism except myself. Hello everyone, I'm Kat Voth. If there's one thing that YouTube has done to its platform, it's fucked it up immensely. YouTube hates its creators more than I want to cut open an infant child in comedic zoom and distortion turbulence. But if there's one thing that's worse than YouTubers, are uh, Instagrammers and them trying to be popular Jake Paulers. Speaking of not funny, Lily Pons is a fine star that's comedically retarded. We've been through much worse. Much, mm. much worse. Zoella made a calendar selling these overpriced bags. No one really, okay. These high, high prices of a handbag straight from the catalogue from 2010 vlogger Zoella, who leached most of her fame off Jamie Pine's I'm Gay trend that would be stretched out for the span of two years to soak up an audience of impressionable 14 year olds for straight from her. Onision is a really bad human being. But since that trend's dying out, let's go to Reddit videos. Yeah, how you going guys? Uh, Aryan Breed here. Um... So, this popular reddit says, um, if I upload this and then tag it into this subreddit, then I'll get a fuck ton of views, so... Uh, just one sec, I just need to do the thumbnail really quickly. Alright, now let's, uh, let's read some stuff. All these little baby commentary channels will make the same sort of shit content, and the shit is fake. Keemstar's just making all this bullshit up. In fact, Keemstar hasn't done anything of value with himself for over three years now. Okay, with all that money, you'd think he'll do something more than make a defense league for himself. Really, Tommy? Really? Uh, let's not forget that I was the one that gave you a career with this one, okay? Keemstar's just dragging this whole bullshit out, just going against the grain, don't you agree? Tin foil Tommy, tin foil Tommy, said it again. <laughs> Let me just leave the frame for a second, so it's like I'm I'm floating my phone. See my sink? Oh wow. Sup, you beautiful bastards. So uh, I've invested a lot of money into this YouTube channel, and uh, if I can't get out what I can't put in, uh, what's the point? <laughs> See you later, gang. Hey, what's up, guys? Scares here. So uh, you might have looked in the news that uh, uh, everyone's doing Dr. Phil videos out of nowhere. Uh, there was also a dying trend that happened like five years ago, but they're not, not as dying as my YouTube channel. Besides meow, jeez, cat. What's the point of this? Much worse. How you going, guys? So now we got something new. It's called the Chub and Tuck. As you can see, uh, you got the Chub, and you just tuck it in. You just chuck, chuck it in. Now remember to steal this from somebody six years ago and still, still have it as your own. Okay? Keep it clean. No. <laughs> we do wear friends to the end. Hey, my friend. We. I've been playing this new game called Fortnite. It's very fun. I like it a lot. I got a new rap coming out tomorrow. But as the title will tell you, it is like it's coming out today. No, no, no. Only a stupid, irrelevant people do that, which is not me. But here is preview. Yeah, yeah. Put dick in us. Police come knocking at the door. I tell them no, thank you. I do not buy. I close door and go take nap. I got to put dick in ass. Ah! This stilted image in Filipino girl form likes to pretend to be a human. But no one cares, because I'm gay and that's the bane of my existence. And welcome back to another episode of a bad unboxing. Uh, let's see what we have today. We got some cheddar teeth. Guys, this is direct proof that iDumps' new content cop will be on Captain Sparkles. As you can see, there's Captain America on his monitor, and there, there's Sparkles on his table. So expect to see that, and thank you guys for so much for the support, even though this is my 18th filler video I've done in a row, I'll see you next week. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the Banjo and Kazooie Nuts and Bolts soundtrack, because that's all we fucking have here. Man, ASMR is really fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> My only source for relevancy is through a crippled retard that I use time and time again just to make sure that I have some. Anyway, uh, like the video if you like to subscribe if you want, and I'll see you whenever. <laughs> you have to be resilient and patient and work hard on something.
specific and you know long term work things that take a long time uh usually have a longer shelf life and are more impactful and I worry that like my generation is being encouraged to rather than spend a year on something and release something that is good and polished uh you're required every week to put something out there and it never accumulates into something substantial. You just have like sort of an IV drip of mediocre art. I did an hour long special and I waited three years until the next one. And in that three years, I was having tweets of like, are you dead? What happened to you? You know? And I was really feeling like, um, I, man, I had this career and I let it die. Like, because I, um, but then when I put out that next one, which was last year, a special called what it felt like more people saw it than anything. And I was, and that sort of proved to me, like, oh, if I if I can sit and work and release something when it's ready, then um, that that's the most valuable thing I can do, you know. And uh, if I have to disappear for a little while in order to make the final product what it is, then I'll do that. <laughs>